Hi, my name is Jennifer and I'm going to show you how to make fruit pizza. First you want to start with a um, sugar cookie mix. I use this Betty Crocker one that comes in the bag. Um, you don't want to get the rolled out dough. You want to make it dry to start with. So you go ahead and prepare it according to the directions on the back of the bag, which calls for oop, one egg. and one stick of softened butter. And you want to go ahead and take your hand mixer and just blend all your ingredients together. This is a great recipe to make in the summertime when all kinds of fruit is uh, fresh and you can pick whatever type of fruit you like to start it. That's about good. We're going to go ahead and get the pan and spray it with some um, cooking spray. I'm going to spray the pan with some cooking spray. You can use a square pan or you could use a pizza pan if you had a pizza pan. You want to just go ahead and spread your dough into the bottom of the pan. And then with your hands, you're going to just spread it to all the corners so that you have about a quarter of an inch of dough at the bottom of the pan. Meanwhile, you're preheating the oven to 375. And we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven for about nine minutes. So the next step is we're going to make the cream cheese frosting. And what you need for that is one block of eight ounce cream cheese, again, softened in the microwave. And then you want to use about a quarter of a cup of sugar. And then you want to take your hand mixer and just blend these two ingredients. You want to keep mixing it until it's um, runny so that you can spread it well on top of your crust. So the next step is we're going to mix our fruit along with some vanilla extract and a little bit of sugar. And you could use as many fruits as you'd like. Here I've just chosen three fruits. Um, and you want to cut them up into small bite-sized pieces. So I have cantaloupe and strawberries. And I have blueberries. You want to add one, table, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Just kind of drizzle it over the top of your fruit. And then next you want to add about a quarter of a cup of sugar. It smells really good. Go ahead and sprinkle that over the top. And then you just mix your berries together with the sugar so that it's well coated with the sugar and the vanilla extract. If you wanted to do this step 
beforehand, it it helps the, the flavors infuse if you let it sit out for a little while. That's that. So our cookie's all done. We took it out of the oven and we can tell that it's done because it has a nice golden brown crust on the top of it. And now we're just gonna go ahead and assemble um, the fruit pizza. So we're gonna take our cream cheese frosting that we made earlier kind of plop it in the middle and then we'll spread it around. It's good to do this step now while the cookie's still warm and it helps the, um, the frosting to spread well. Make sure you get it right to the corners. And the next thing we're going to do is top it with our fruit. And you can go ahead and just pour it over the top. Make sure you get all the juice at the bottom of the bowl. We got a loose berry. And that's it. I think it's a real pretty dish in the summer. And you want to go ahead and let this all sit for about 10 minutes before you cut into it so that it will stay in pieces. And once it's cooled for about 10 minutes, you can cut it lengthwise. And if you had used a pizza plate, then you could cut it into pizza slices and, and serve it. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.